Courtney, it's Katie, and this week I'm doing something a little different. As you can tell, I'm not at my house. I'm dog-sitting this gerbil and her sister, who's a Cocker Spaniel, she's sunbathing over there. Um, I've tried to film this video like four times already, but it keeps going over 15 minutes long. So I'm trying to do a one take where I don't have to edit that much. So here we go, I am showing you my bucket list. Since I just turned 23, I have 23 things that I want to accomplish in my lifetime. So here we go, number one, get a passport, because a lot of the things on the list require a passport. So I want to go on adventures, need a passport. Number two, start a blog. I love reading your blog and other blogs online, so while I'm traveling the world, why not document my adventures so I can read and cherish them later? So I want to start a blog and maintain a blog. I should change that to maintain a blog, whatever. Number three, own at least one rescue dog. My dogs were kind of oopsie puppies, but um, I want to say that I saved at least one puppy's life before my time's up. Number four, uh, visit all 50 states for at least one day each time. I've been to about eight or nine states, but I've driven through a lot more. But I don't count that because I didn't technically stay there. So I want to visit all 50 states. Number five, ride in a hot air balloon. Because, you know, like, why not? It's really cool looking and it looks like a good time. So that's a good enough reason for me. Number six, invent an ice cream flavor. This is a little backstory to it. The board game Life growing up was one of my favorites, and one of the little life cards was invent an ice cream flavor. So it's a goal and aspiration in life for me now. Why not? I love ice cream. Number seven, make a guard at Buckingham Palace smile. I realize how unrealistic this is, but if I try to accomplish it, then that means I'm in London, so everyone's winning in my book. Number eight, memorize and sing the alphabet forwards and backwards. I have it down forwards. The backwards part needs a little work. Uh, number nine, hike Mount Whitney. I think it'd be out of my comfort zone because I'm typically not an outdoorsy sort of girl, but I think it'd be fun. Why not? Number 10, be an extreme couponer. I get a rush while watching the show when people check out with $500 worth of groceries and their total is $4.13. So I want to feel that rush. Number 11, own my own personal library complete with the rolling ladder that attaches to the shelves. Beauty and the Beast style, people. I mean, dream come true when it happens, and it will. Number 11, thank you, mom and dad, for putting this in my head, but I want to graduate with a master's degree. Maybe in education, maybe in English, maybe in administration, but I want to say that I have a master's degree. Um, number 12, I think this is, number 12, no, 13. 13, flip a couch by running and jumping onto it with a bunch of my friends. I think this is like in a movie or a TV series, and I know it's super random, but it looks like a good time to me, so why not? Number 14, relearn how to play the piano. Growing up, I had about four or five years of piano lessons, and I can play Mary Had a Little Lamb on the Black Keys and the very beginning of Beethoven's Ninth, Ode to Joy. Um, that's all I have to show for it. So I want to relearn how to play the most gorgeous instrument of all time, in my opinion. Um, number 15, I think, we're going to call it 15, publish a novel. I've written a lot of short stories, I've written a few longer stories, um, but I've never actually sat down, disciplined myself long enough to write a novel, and then had the courage to give it to a stranger, say, here, read this, tell me if it's any good. So, sometime in my life, I want to publish a novel. Um, number 16, I think, eat at the top of the Eiffel Tower. There's a restaurant up there, and the reviews actually aren't that good, but I want to say that I ate at the top of the Eiffel Tower. And if I just so happen to be sitting across from a really sweet, nice guy in the city of love, then I'd be perfectly okay with that. <laughs> Number 17, design my own home. Uh, not structurally or architecturally, if that's a word, um, but growing up, after my dream of wanting to be a mermaid ended, and before the dream of wanting to be a teacher really set in, I had the small phase of wanting to be an interior designer. I know, I was a weird child, but if I can design my own home and make a house a home, I'd be set. Number 18, I think, um, is to own an I Heart New York t-shirt. And this is the only one that I can officially check off my bucket list because I got one the same day that I saw Lady Gaga in Central Park in the front row. I was on national TV, the Today Show, because they panned over the audience. And then I was on a Times Square billboard that night. So it was three huge milestones, but the thing I was most excited about is that I got to buy an I Heart New York t-shirt. I know, I'm weird. Um, number 19? 20? I don't know what number this is. Um, play Extreme Twister with some friends. It's normal Twister, but there's paint involved, and everyone wears white, and it looks so much fun. 
Um, number 20, number 20, see all three Statues of Liberty. Statue of Liberties? Statues of Liberty. There you go. Um, I think the world's a smaller place when you get out and see it, so I want to travel and compare and contrast all three statues. I mean, they, they, they look similar and they stand for similar things, but I want to see how other countries, um, how, what they mean to other countries. You know, here it means liberty and freedom and, you know, America, everything that we stand for. But I want to go to France and I want to see what it stands for there. So, all three statues of liberty. My next one, 21, is a little uh, extreme, but I want to fly first class. I don't care how long the flight is, I don't care where it's going, um, but I will put aside a chunk of change just to see how the other half lives. I want to experience it for myself. I want to fly first class. Number 22 is completely opposite of number 21. Um, I want to live outside my comfort zone. If that means that I live off of $50 for an entire week, then so be it. If it means living by myself, um, I've never done that before. Um, if it means going somewhere that I've never gone without a map and exploring for a day or two, I'm all for it. I just want to live outside my comfort zone. I find that you do a lot of um, exploring and finding yourself when you're, you're pushed to your limits. So I think that'd be interesting for me. And my last one, hopefully this wasn't too long, is number 23, save a life. Whether that's physically, if I'm in the right place at the right time and I can save someone's life, or emotionally, um, if I'm sitting down and I talk to someone and somehow I touch their life. Um, spiritually, if I talk to someone about you know our beliefs, um, that'd be interesting. Um, I mean, any way possible. That's partly the reason that I want to go into teaching. Um, I just had so many inspirational teachers growing up. If I can touch a child's life in the way that mine was touched by a million different teachers, not a million, but a few different teachers, then I think that would be a mission accomplished. So there you have it. That was my list of 23 things that are on my bucket list as of 2014 when I'm 23 years old. So hopefully looking back at this, I can say that I've checked off a fair few of them um, in the not too distant future, hopefully. Um, but yeah, I'll keep you updated. And if you want to share your bucket list with me, if you have one, then I'd be totally interested in hearing it. Um, and hopefully this is interesting for you. Um, I don't think it was interesting for Daisy, but <laughs> Anyway, it was good talking to you, even though you didn't talk back, but I'll see you next week. Have a good one. Bye!